All right, y'all. I said I was gonna try to do a call and tip Tuesday. Little did I know that I would be joined by a legend, Mr. Rick Dunn himself. Uh, if y'all been watching and keeping up, this man right here, he got me started. Uh, I knew how to call ducks as far as the when and when not, but Rick taught me the right way to blow a duck call. And right before I turned this on, he informed me how bad I was when I started. Um, we had a lot of fun early days on, on all the Echo DVDs and, and I owe him so much and I, I try to give credit where credit's due when people ask and I owe this man right here a ton. Um, but uh, what about it, Rick? Well, I'll, uh, Rusty wanted me to give a little calling tip and probably the most important tip that I can give is how to get your throat open when you're blowing a single recall. And a lot of people don't know exactly what it means to get your throat open, but it's actually blowing hot air like you fog a window <gasps> into the call. So a lot of people ask me, how do you do that? You know, and you got to start somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So if you're squeezing your throat down, you can't get the full potential out of the call. Uh, you can still call ducks. Don't get me wrong. If you're in the right spot, you can call ducks in with a trombone. But a lot of times you're not in the right spot and you have to make a good call and everything has to work right. But anyhow, to make a long story short, I wanna show you how to get your throat open the fastest way that I've learned over the years. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna put your mouth on the call just like you're drinking out of a Coke bottle full flow. You don't wanna squeeze anything down. Everything's got to be full and open. And it's like you're fogging a window. And you can also turn your call around backwards and actually feel if you're getting hot air. If you're getting hot air, you're doing it pretty much right. All right, getting back to it. The fastest way to get your throat open is to blow one note. Okay, so a duck does a cadence and we call this a takeoff note. So I hadn't blown a call in a year, so if I mess up, <laughs> don't laugh at me too hard. Anyhow, I'll, I'll quack on the call and then I'll start getting to the first note. Okay, so that'd be the first note of a takeoff. Okay, so we're not worried about any of that other, that other stuff comes easy. The first note is what separates the men from the boys. Why does it separate the men from the boys? It's because if you can only blow the call this loud, you don't have any range. You know what I'm saying? And you're limited to ducks that are already within about 75 or 100 yards. But if you can open your throat and get the call open, you know, you can call ducks at a quarter to a half mile, especially if you've got two or three guys calling. So what it does, it broadens your horizon so you can actually kill more ducks. So getting back to it, we're gonna work on that first note. So I'm gonna start off, okay, and it's decent. I'm gonna add a little more pressure, pretty good. Now I'm gonna mess up on purpose here just to show you what typically happens when you squeeze your throat down you don't get any duck in it. So you're limited to how much volume you get out of the call. So get your throat open. <laughs> practice on that first note over and over. What I tell people, practice on that first note only for 15 to 20 minutes at a time. And if you can get that first note, the other stuff, it just comes natural. That's right. That's a good one. That's a good tip. Now, was I really that bad? Uh, <laughs> I've seen worse, but I just don't remember <laughs> when. <laughs> no, no, he could always call ducks, but he he was uh, exactly what I'm talking about. Didn't get his throat open, and in learning to get your throat open, like I said, it just it broadens your horizon. You just got lots more chances to kill ducks. 
right. Well, guys, you heard it from the man himself. Blessed to call this guy one of my best friends and to have shared a tree with him many mornings. Thank you all for watching. Thanks, Rick. Thank you.